welcome to Suncoast. Venice is one of my favorite places in the world, as I'm sure it's for many others. It's unique and fascinating, and every time I visit it, I'm in awe as I find out more tidbits of history, architecture, or engineering. I've been to Venice many times. This time, the trip was by coach bus, which led us off at the main terminal, and the tour continued on a motorboat docks near Piazza San Marco. Around the time I visited the city, my brother sent me a short video he found on YouTube about the Venetian engineers building the wells of the city. That led me on a quest to find out more and found the longer version of the video entitled The Crazy Engineering of Venice, which I recommend. Venice was built on the swampy islands of the Venetian lagoons. The Venetians brought timber from Croatian forests and drove densely packed pylons into the ground. This created platforms which were covered with more timber below sea level and stone above the sea level to create a foundation for houses. The genius is that the timber was not exposed to air, being below sea level at all times, thus preserving the wood and foundation for a thousand years and to this day. The Venetians built one block at a time, leaving space in between blocks for the sea as a naval canal road. There are 472 bridges connecting the city and the 126 islands that are separated by expanses of open water and by canals. Thank you. 
The story behind why the city was built begins with the fall of the Roman Empire as the area was constantly invaded by successive waves of Germanic invasions starting at 166 AD and then in the 5th century by Visigoths and later by Huns and Lombards. The Eastern Roman Empire was left with a slither of coastline in the Veneto region and administered from Ravenna, a city that's further south along the coast. The only connection between Ravenna and Veneto were by sea only. Ports were built on the islands and a governing committee was formed dating from 568 AD. With isolation, Venetians became more independent and the first Venetian doge was elected in 697 AD. Doge means duke in Venetian. Ravenna was conquered by the Lombards in 751 AD, leaving Venice to fend for itself. As the Lombards conquered more mainland territory, there was an influx in the region islands of Venice of people who looked for sanctuary, bolstering the population. Charlemagne and the Lombards sieged the city for six months in 810 AD, but the attacking troops were ravaged by diseases of the local swamps, and the war was a costly failure. In 814, Venice was recognized Eastern Roman territory. A few years later, the city acquired relics from Alexandria, claimed by the Venetians to be of Saint Mark, the guardian saint, and were placed in the new basilica. The city developed a powerful maritime empire from the 9th to the 12th century and acquired new land and controlled land on the eastern shore of the Adriatic including Dalmatia and Istria and most islands in the Aegean including Crete and Cyprus. Venice and Constantinople maintained close relations until 1204 when during the Fourth Crusade Constantinople was sacked.
Constantinople was weakened and never recovered its former power and eventually fell to the Ottomans almost 200 years later. Venice became the most prosperous city in Europe by the late 13th century. Venice is really a testament to human endurance because it was founded in one of the least friendly places for human habitation in the lagoons infested with all kinds of bugs and diseases, mosquitoes and what have you. And yet somehow they not just managed to survive, but they flourished and solved some of the most pressing engineering problems, thus overcoming them and becoming one of the most important powers. The lagoon was the nemesis that had to be tamed and friend of the Venetians that protected and allowed them to flourish. In the 15th century, once again, Venice showed its wisdom and savvy. They seized the opportunity to become the printing capital of the world after the newly invented Gutenberg Press. In the 14th and 16th centuries, the city, which had about 150,000 people on the islands of Venice, lost about a third of its population to the Black Death, which was a major blow to the city. The decline of Venice began with a confrontation with the Ottoman Empire, which led to the loss of the Eastern Mediterranean possessions and the destruction of their trade monopoly with the East, as the Portuguese opened trade with India through the Cape of Good Hope. In a way, that was the Venetians doing by weakening Constantinople in the Fourth Crusade in 1204 when they participated in the sacking of Constantinople, which was really their closest ally. It was their shield to the east. The famous horses in the St. Marco Square were looted by the Venetians in 1204 from Constantinople, from the Hippodrome of Constantinople, by doing that, 200 years later, they came in direct conflict with the Ottoman Empire, and that was the beginning of their end. In the early 1800s, Venice lost its independence to Napoleon, and later, when Napoleon was defeated, Venice was given to the Austrians. As of 2020, Venice had a population of 258,000 residents, of which 51,000 lived in Old Venice, and overall the metropolitan population is 2.6 million. Venice has about 28 million visitors a year, and it's Europe's largest urban car-free area. There are approximately 400 licensed gondoliers in Venice, and Venice was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe.